Hey, we're over at Atlantic Beach in Jacksonville, Florida. Where's that seafood place we went? Uh, Safe Harbor. Safe Harbor. We went to Safe Harbor and got some fresh tuna ah, steaks, right? Yeah, ahi tuna. Fresh tuna steaks. We're going to cook them up on this art flame. Tammy's going to make a, uh, was it, strawberry, strawberry chili, chili sauce to go on it. Let's get the fire going. Stay with us. I'm gonna make this strawberry chili sauce for this ahi tuna. Okay, so years ago, I lived in Arizona and I went to this place called Richardson's and they used to fly their fish in every day and they made this strawberry champagne sauce for their ahi tuna, right? And it was fantastic. So I'm kind of trying to recreate that, but with a kick, because you know, I like spicy food, right? So I'm gonna take these strawberries I put about a tablespoon of olive oil in this pan. Now I'm going to put these strawberries in here that I chopped up. I don't know, there could be about two cups of strawberries in here. And I'm going to let them cook down because I want them to get all the juices out so that all the sweetness comes up. I don't want them to be too chunky but I do want to leave some of the chunk, obviously, when we put the glaze over. All right, so I'm gonna give these just a little bit of time so they can cook before I add anything to them. So give me about two minutes and I'll get right back to you, okay? All right, so it's been, I don't know, five minutes or so, and you can see the strawberries have reduced down and they've made their own nice little sauce here. We're gonna add everything else to it so we can finish this out and get the fish done because I'm really excited to eat this. Okay, so I have a third a cup of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna put that in there. This is woo, two cups of wine. It's gonna go in. And then the dry ingredients. Well, no, let's put this in first. So this is going to be about a half a cup of chili sauce. Again, I like things spicy, so get that in there. And then the dry ingredients. Um, whew, strawberry, it's a casualty. All right, so I have a full teaspoon of ginger. I have half a teaspoon of this Japanese seasoning, which I'll show you in just one minute. I have a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then um, I have four packets of stevia. So let me get those in there. And I'm using stevia because I don't really like sugar, so I don't want all those extra calories, so I'm using the stevia. Okay. And the Japanese seasoning, it's this SMB. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it before. I bought this at a sushi restaurant. They have it behind the sushi bar and you can sprinkle it on your sushi. The, the guy that was preparing the sushi, he was using it and he said that it was making everything spicy. So I'm like, well, let me try it, right? And so I put it on my seaweed salad and then I put it on my sushi and it's pretty spicy, but it also has like citrus in it. Like I was trying to, you know, read it but it has like different kinds of has like orange and lemon and lime and then it has like all these spices that i don't know what they are but it's delicious so put this in here as well all right so i'm gonna go ahead and let this cook for a little bit and let it reduce down we'll be back to you in i don't know it might take three four or five minutes right 
I got three and a quarter ounces of toasted sesame seeds here. Here, what I got, it's incredible. You, you don't have to have this, right? You can put some uh, salt, garlic, and pepper, but this has uh, already got it all in. That's why I like to use it, it causes me no work. I got about a teaspoon and a half. One, I didn't measure it, one and a half to two teaspoons, right? You just want to get it all mixed up. Like I said, you could just use kosher salt, pepper, and your own formula with garlic, okay? All right, so like I said, we got toasted sesame seeds here, okay? Now I've got my salmon, what, uh, salmon, I'm sorry, tuna. You can see that's not even a quarter of a teaspoon, okay? Just want to use it as a binder. Not even a quarter of a teaspoon, okay? And what we're going to do is get each of these sides all seasoned up, all covered up. Just going to put a little olive oil on our art flame, okay? Oh, listen to that. You hear that sear? Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Let me get the other one. Oh, wow. We're going to let it go 15, 20 seconds each side. We'll see. All we want to do is just sear the outside. Tammy and I like our tuna. Rare. Rare. <laughs> it's been about 20 seconds. We're going to flip it over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. It's starting to get a little crusty there. Oh, oh, look at that. Yeah. We let it go, I don't know, 30 seconds aside. I don't know. We weren't timing it precisely. Look at that. Got that beautiful collar on it. We're going to get it off here. Let it rest 10 minutes and give it a try. Tuna's been resting here seven, eight minutes. I couldn't wait the full 10. Okay. We're going to. Slice up some pieces. Uh-oh, look at that. We don't have a sharp enough knife. Oh, no. You want me to go get a different one? Look at that. It's cooked perfectly, but we don't have a sharp enough knife. It's a brand new knife. It's brand new? Yep. Look how it's cooked. Yep, brand new knife. Do you see how it's not cutting through real... Oh, you got a fly. Brand new knife, yep. Okay. <sighs> She's got a brand new knife. You can see it's not very sharp. Yeah, brand new knife. Isn't but that our sad? tuna, so it's cooked perfectly. Look at that. Rare in the center. So we're going to get it ready. Okay. We got this strawberry chili, yeah. right? Uh huh. Tammy Maine. Right? Right there? Mm -hmm. Is that enough? Yep. Yeah. And I got a little green onion that Tammy cut up. Hope that comes out in the picture. It's cooked perfectly. Let me take a picture. So I'm the first to admit you didn't have the sharp knife. It's not gonna look beautiful like some of these other videos do. But these other videos don't have this strawberry chili sauce Tammy made. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try it. Look here. It's cooked perfectly, right? Look, nice and rare. Got a nice sear around the edge. You ready, ready? baby? I'm ready. Mm. <laughs> Mm. What's delicious? Mm. Mm. I'll be the first to admit when she said she wanted to make this strawberry sauce, I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> it's delicious. It's delicious. You did you did well with the strawberries. It is really good. Sorry my knives are not sharp. I can't believe I just bought those. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. We've been getting a lot of love and support from everybody. And I, I don't know how to just tell you how much we are very grateful for all the feedback and the positive comments. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching our channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Oh, and click on the bell.